This is WXV24, The Weather Vibe. Today is February 2nd, 2023. The current time is 1702 Universal Coordinated Time. Snow Squall Warning in Effect by Environment Canada. Issued at 1413 UTC, February 2nd, 2023. For the following localities in Northern Ontario. Chaplow, Missinabe Lake. Brief, intense snowfall is occurring. Visibilities will be rapidly reduced due to the heavy snow combined with blowing snow. Hazards, sudden whiteout conditions and heavy snow and local blowing snow. Peak snowfall rates of 2 to 3 centimeters per hour. Timing, this morning. Discussion, a band of heavy snow is traversing the area south of Chaplow with the passage of an Arctic cold front. Heavy snow combined with northwesterly winds gusting 50 to 70 kilometers per hour could produce near zero visibility. Bitterly cold air will follow in the wake of the front with extreme wind chill values expected tonight into Friday morning. Visibility may be significantly and suddenly reduced to near zero. Snow squall warnings are issued when brief but intense bursts of heavy snow will produce near zero visibilities. Please continue to monitor alerts and forecasts issued by Environment Canada. To report severe weather, send an email to onstorm at ec.gc.ca or tweet reports using onstorm. Be prepared to adjust your driving with changing road conditions. Snow squall warning in effect by Environment Canada. Issued at 1333 UTC, February 2, 2023. For the following localities in Northern Ontario. Saltstead, Marie, St. Joseph Island, Elliott Lake, Ranger Lake, Blind River, Thessalon. Brief, intense snowfall is occurring. Visibilities will be rapidly reduced due to the heavy snow combined with blowing snow. Hazards, sudden whiteout conditions and heavy snow and local blowing snow. Peak snowfall rates of 2 to 3 centimeters per hour. Timing, this morning. Discussion, a band of heavy snow is traversing the area with the passage of an Arctic cold front. Heavy snow combined with northwesterly winds gusting 50 to 70 kilometers per hour could produce near zero visibility. Bitterly cold air will follow in the wake of the front with extreme wind chill values expected tonight into Friday morning. Visibility will be suddenly reduced to near zero at times in heavy snow and blowing snow. Snow squall warnings are issued when brief but intense bursts of heavy snow will produce near zero visibilities. Please continue to monitor alerts and forecasts issued by Environment Canada. To report severe weather, send an email to onstorm at ec.gc.ca or tweet reports using onstorm. Be prepared to adjust your driving with changing road conditions. Winter storm warning in effect by Environment Canada. Issued at 9.08 UTC, February 2, 2023. For the following localities in Newfoundland, Bergia, Ramia. Hazardous winter conditions are expected. Total snowfall. 20 to 25 centimeters inland. Maximum wind gusts. Southerly 80 kilometers per hour. Locations. Inland areas of the Bergia, Ramia region. Time span. Early Friday morning until Friday evening. Remarks. Snow will become heavy. At times. Early Friday morning. With the highest accumulations occurring inland. Precipitation is expected to mix with or change terrain along the coast. Gusty southerly winds will accompany the snow, causing reduced visibilities and blowing snow especially for inland areas where temperatures remain colder. Snow is expected to taper to flurries on Friday evening, however flurries and gusty winds will likely combine to cause reduced visibilities and blowing snow until Saturday night. Winter storm warnings are issued when multiple types of severe winter weather are expected to occur together. Please continue to monitor alerts and forecasts issued by Environment Canada. To report severe weather, send an email to nlstorm at ec.gc.ca or tweet reports using NLWX. Consider postponing non-essential travel until conditions improve. Prepare for quickly changing and deteriorating travel conditions. Snowfall warning in effect by Environment Canada. Issued at 919 UTC, February 2, 2023. For the following localities in Labrador, Red Bay to Lonso Claire. Snowfall with total amounts of 15 to 25 centimeters is expected. Locations, Red Bay to Lons, O, Clare. Total snowfall, 10 to 15, except up to 25 centimeters over higher terrain. Time span, Friday morning until Friday evening. Snowfall warnings are issued when significant snowfall is expected. Please continue to monitor alerts and forecasts issued by Environment Canada. To report severe weather, send an email to nlstorm at ec. Dot .gc dot .ca or tweet reports using NLWX. Be prepared to adjust your driving with changing road conditions.
Winds Warning in Effect by Environment Canada, issued at 10.12 UTC, February 2, 2023, for the following localities in Quebec, Grande Valley area, St. Andes Mons area. Westerly winds will reach up to 100 km per hour beginning on Friday morning. Winds are expected to diminish late in the day on Saturday. Loose objects may be tossed by the wind and cause injury or damage. Wind warnings are issued when there is a significant risk of damaging winds. Please continue to monitor alerts and forecasts issued by Environment Canada. To report severe weather, send an email to qcstorm at ec.gc.ca or tweet reports using QC Storm. Winter Storm Warning in Effect by Environment Canada, issued at 1301 UTC, February 2, 2023, for the following localities in BC. Travelers Routes, Highway 97 Pine Pass, a long period of significant snow continues. Total snowfall accumulations of 25 to 50 centimeters are expected by the time snow ends Saturday morning. Rapidly accumulating snow could make travel difficult over some locations. Visibility may be suddenly reduced at times in heavy snow. Weather in the mountains can change suddenly resulting in hazardous driving conditions. Road conditions are available at www.drivetc.ca. Please continue to monitor alerts and forecasts issued by Environment Canada. To report severe weather, send an email to bcstorm at ec.gc.ca or tweet reports using BC Storm. Consider postponing non-essential travel until conditions improve. The site https colon slash slash shifttintowinter.ca slash reminds drivers to know before you go. Adjust to winter driving behavior and use winter tires and chains. WXV24 presents Automated Weather Observations for Regions Across Canada Conditions at Whitehorse, Yukon at 1000 Mountain Standard Time Partly cloudy, minus 14 degrees Celsius Humidity, 78% Pressure 100.5 kPa and falling Wind south, 24 km per hour Conditions at Yellowknife Region, Northwest Territories at 1000 Mountain Standard Time Extreme Cold Warning in Effect, Mainly Sunny, Minus 35 degrees Celsius, Humidity, 69%, Pressure 102.8 kPa and falling, Wind East Southeast, 14 km per hour, Conditions at Iqaluit, Nunavut at 1100 Eastern Standard Time Extreme Cold Warning in Effect, Ice Crystals, Minus 38 degrees Celsius, Humidity, 65%. Pressure 101.1 kPa and rising. Wind north-northwest, 7 km per hour. Conditions at Greater Victoria, British Columbia at 0900 Pacific Standard Time. Mostly cloudy 2 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 100%. Pressure 102.1 kPa and falling. Wind west-southwest, 8 km per hour. Conditions at City of Edmonton, St. Albert, Sherwood Park, Alberta at 1000 Mountain Standard Time. Comma, minus 17 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 72%. Pressure 102.7 kPa and falling. Wind south-southeast, 18 km per hour. Conditions at City of Regina, Saskatchewan at 1100 Central Standard Time. Extreme cold warning ended in effect. Mostly cloudy. Minus 27 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 62%. Pressure 104.0 kPa and rising. Wind west, 7 km per hour. Conditions at City of Winnipeg, Manitoba at 1100 Central Standard Time. Extreme cold warning in effect. Mainly sunny. Minus 27 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 64%. Pressure 103.7 kPa and rising. Wind north northwest, 26 km per hour. Conditions at City of Toronto, Ontario at 1200 Eastern Standard Time Extreme Cold Warning in Effect. Partly cloudy. Minus 0 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 53%. Pressure 101.3 kPa and falling. Wind southwest, 29 km per hour. Conditions at Ottawa South, Richmond, Metcalf, Ontario at 1200 Eastern Standard Time Extreme Cold Warning in Effect. Light snow. Minus 2 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 66%. Pressure 101.0 kPa and falling. Wind south-southwest, 29 km per hour. Conditions at Quoi Copyright Beck, Quebec at 1200 Eastern Standard Time. Extreme cold warning in effect. Snow squall watch in effect. Special weather statement ended in effect. Partly cloudy. Minus 8 degrees Celsius. 
Humidity, 82%. Pressure 101.3 kPa in falling. Wind southwest, 10 km per hour. Conditions at St. John's and vicinity, Newfoundland and Labrador at 1330 Newfoundland Standard Time Special Weather Statement in effect. Partly cloudy. Minus 9 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 65%. Pressure 101.6 kPa and rising. Wind west-northwest, 28 km per hour. Conditions at Fredericton and Southern York County, New Brunswick at 1300 Atlantic Standard Time Extreme Cold Warning in effect. Cloudy. Minus 4 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 46%. Pressure 101.7 kPa and wind south-southwest, 24 km per hour. Conditions at Prince Edward Island, Prince Edward Island at 1200 Atlantic Standard Time Special Weather Statement in effect. Partly cloudy. Minus 7 degrees Celsius. Humidity, 58%. Pressure 101.8 kPa in falling. Wind west-southwest, 18 km per hour. This is Weather Vibe IP Radio, call sign WXV24. Comments should be directed to contacts listed on the station's website, wxv24.weebly.com. That is wxv24.weebly.com. Ontario is covered in extreme cold warnings by Environment Canada. They are forecasting wind chills up to minus 30, and it gets worse as you go up north, with areas in northern Ontario having wind chills forecasted up to minus 50. Make sure you keep yourself nice and warm and remember that frostbites are dangerous, and if you have pets, take them inside. Today is February 2nd, 2023. The current time is 1714 Universal Coordinated Time. This is WXV24, The Weather Vibe. Thank you.